Hi everyone, this is Jay Harris coming to you from Tom's Trading Room. I'm going to go over a video showing you one way to do a back test on an option trade. A student emailed in asking if we have option back testing. The answer is yes, we do. There are multiple videos on this and there are ways to go about this other than what I'm showing you. But here is one way that programmer John answered the student as to what they were asking. They were wanting to know if they could back test selling the strangle of 30 days to expiration uh, about a month before expiration on a specific stock. So here's how to quickly get that done. I'm going to set the date back. We're right now March 14th. Let's go back roughly a month. We're going to go back to March, uh, excuse me, February uh, 14th. And when we select the date from the calendar, it automatically sets it to the back test date, February 14th or whichever one you've chosen. Now we're going to go to trades, edit, create a trade, and then left click create trade. And in here, it's on AstraZeneca, but you can change it to whatever symbol you want. Let's go ahead and just for the sake of education, show Apple, that's the one that John and the student discussed. So we type in the symbol there to change the stock symbol and then left click the change button. It will refresh and bring us up the capabilities to enter in the trade legs that we want. Now this was uh, an example of selling a strangle 30 days to expiration. So let's go ahead and click in the numbers box, enter in the numeric value of one, and let's change the expiration to, let's go March 15th. And we'll go to the sell the put leg, enter in the same number of contracts, one, change the strike uh, expiration to the same of March 15th. So we're selling a March 15, 170 strike uh, strangle on Apple. Now you can click save, but make sure you over here in the save trade into folder box, choose the folder that you want to save the trade in, or you can do like we've instructed this student, just click on the risk graph. Everything that you're seeing is as of the closing date or in closing prices of the date of February 14th. So here's the entry credit set up when you sell the strangle initially. Now, for the back testing purposes, if you want to see what is done a day later, just go plus one day. If you want to see it a week later, enter in the date or just click it on the latest. Since it's about a month back, let's go to uh, the latest, which is a month later. And it's actually one day prior to the options expiration for the strangle. But the results aren't the important part, whether we're profitable or we're in a loss situation. Bottom line is we're showing you a way to do a quick back test. Now, you can do this with a save trade, or you can just put in the trade idea that you're flirting with back on the date of entry you wanted. Once you get that trade in there and you've brought up a risk graph on it, you can fast forward a day, a week, or to the current date. That's what I've shown you how to do here. And again, profit, loss, irrelevant to the education here. But now, if you did want to save this, you can go ahead and start back over. You can go ahead and click on the folder that you want here if you'd like, and then click save. But now you're saving it as an end result from the month ago when it was put into the tools to the current pricing that it is right now. And then you can decide from here if you want to you know, continue one more day or just close the trade. But there you go, folks. A quick idea as to how to do a quick back test on an option trade within the tools. Now, there are other videos in the help free video section. If you want to go to the home and the Tom's tools page and you click on the Options Analysis Darknet Channels, you'll see different ways to do back testers for calls, the stocks, the spreads. You can read the help files on here, and again, watch any and all videos that you want on back testing. So that is it for this video, folks. See you on future videos. Bye for now.